Hi, how you doing? My name is Lonnie. We're back here, back here again, and we're going to continue on in the scope of solution concentration. Um, today, more specifically, I'm going to focus in and isolate on a method of comparing the solvent or the solvent to the entire solution, and this is known as mole fraction. But before I begin with that, let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about this, uh, if you will, this pipe chart. Now, note the larger section. I'm going to represent this larger section as uh, H2O, if you will, at about 70%. The smaller section, I'm going to represent that as uh, sodium chloride, if you will, and that's going to be about 30%. Well, the, the question is, is, how can I interpret this pie chart? There are a couple ways in which we can interpret this. Let's say, take the, the obvious, which is by percent. So hence, we can say that this pie chart, in fact, is interpreted as 70% which is represented by water, plus 30%, which is represented by the NaCl, in fact, equals our total, or 100%. One way in which we can interpret this pie chart. Now, how else might we interpret it? Well, we can also interpret it in terms of fractions of 70%. Of course, it can be interpreted in terms of the water. It could be interpreted as 7 tenths, again, the H2O, plus 3 tenths, the NaCl, and hence that gives us a total of 10 tenths. Now let's, let's, let's remove the fraction, let's just put it in decimal format. And here's a third way in which we can represent that pie chart. We can say 0.7 H2O plus the 0.3 NaCl equals 1.0. Another way that we can interpret that pie chart. And this is, the, this is the area in which I am going to focus in today in talking about mole fraction. A part, if you will, 0.7 to a whole, 1.0. Or another part, 0.3, to the whole, if you will, to 1.0. So having said that, let me, let's find another area here. Let's talk about mole fraction. Mole fraction. And again, as I indicated initially, what is mole fraction? It is, in fact, a way in which we can compare the solute of the solution to the entire solution or the solvent of the solution to the entire solution. So, uh, by convention, mole fraction, in fact, is symbolized by an X. Uh, we can specify it with a subscript, if you will, and identify uh, X subscript A as the solvent, if you will, or oftentimes you'll see it as X uh, subscript B, which separates it from the A, which in fact represents the solute. Okay? Again, mole fraction, I'm going to use the X sub A, is the expression of the mole of A, and I'm going to identify that as the solvent, divided by the total of the solution, which will be the moles of A plus the moles of B. A representing the solvent, and B representing the solute, or this total, of course, represents the solution. I'm going to write this down here. It represents the solution. Okay? Now, no, let's, let's go ahead and take this, and let's also express this in terms of solute. This, is, this in fact, was the solvent, X sub A. Let's, let's do an interpretation of the solute. Let's say we want to find the mole fraction of the sol solute. So, it is, in fact, symbolized by X sub B which equals moles of B, again divided, part divided by the whole, which is N sub A plus N sub B. Again, this is the entire solution. So again, you know, note, note the relationship. A part of the solution to a whole. In this case, solid. The second one, a part of the solution, N subscript, uh, subscript B, to the whole of the solution. So having said that, let's go ahead and let's look at our first problem here in terms of mole fraction. Let me pull our problem up and we'll take a quick look at that. Alright. This is our mole fraction. Now note, the problem reads as such. An aquarium must contain 3.6 grams of sodium chloride per 100 grams of H2O. What is the percent by mass of the sodium chloride in the solution. Okay, that's pretty. That's a pretty fundamental. Let's go ahead and let's get back to our smart board. We love those smart boards, huh? 
Okay, let's get back to the smart board. And note, let's identify the information that uh, is unknown. Again, I'm gonna let, let's write the expression of um, our mole fraction, which in fact is a subscript of uh, x subscript a equals uh, m of a divided by the total solution, which is the moles of the solute, in this case solvent, plus the moles of the solvent for the solution. Now, uh, the unknown, in fact, our unknown that was expressed in the problem is we're actually looking for the solute. So we are, our unknown, in fact, is x sub b. And this, in fact, is the mole fraction, mole fraction of the solute. And that is our unknown. Let me scroll this up a little so we have a little more room. Now let's identify other information. Now they've given to us in the problem that sodium chloride Sodium chloride was in fact equal to 22.8%. They also gave us uh, the fact that this is an aqueous solution, an aqueous solution, and so hence our solvent is H2O. But note that the sodium hydroxide is 22.8%. So let's take that from 100%, and that will give us the water, which is that 77.2%. Now note also, we can put this in a format in terms of a, uh, a standard number format. So the 22.8% of the sodium hydroxide, in fact, is the same as or equal to 22.8 grams of the sodium hydroxide, and so likewise, the water at 77.2% is equal to 77.2 grams. Great. All right, let's go ahead and scroll that up a little more. Well, let's write our expression one more time. Expression is, of course, the solvent. So X sub B is equal to MB, moles of the solute, to the total, which is NA and NB. This is the total of the solution. Well, what do we need to do at this point? We need to solve for the the NB, solve for the NA, and hence then we can find the mole fraction, in this case, for the solute, which in, in fact happens to be the sodium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's perform that. Let's do uh, N sub B. Remember, N sub B, in fact, is equal to moles per molar mass, uh, moles, moles of solute, divided by the uh, molar mass, I'll just put molar mass, now look, notice that we in fact have got to get the molar mass. Our solute, in fact, is a sodium hydroxide, and we'll do the water at the same time. Solvent, in fact, is H2O. Our molar mass of that, in fact, equals approximately uh, 40 grams per mole, whereas our water equals approximately 18 grams per mole. We are ready now to calculate our moles. Let's first of all, let's refer to this. We're first going to do the N sub B, and then we'll go ahead and do the mole value of the N sub A. N sub B being our solvent, sodium hydroxide, and N sub A being our solvent, being water. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Well, my N sub B is equal to the, uh, to the grams that was given us, which was, in fact, 22.8 grams of sodium hydroxide, divided by our molar mass of that, which happens to be 40 grams, which we calculated per mole. And then we plug this in our calculator, and we're going to get a value of the N sub B, and that happens to come out to approximately 57 moles of NaOH. Great, we've got our solute. Let's go ahead and move forward and let's do our water. Let's do our water. Let's do the water, which in fact is the N sub, N sub A. Okay, so we've got N sub A. Now, no, this is our water. Recall that the water was 77.2%, or in fact, the equivalent of 77.2 grams. Again, this is the H2O. That's the grams. The molar mass of water, we divide that to find our calculated moles, is 18 grams per mole, which in fact gives us a molar value for the solvent of approximately 4.28 moles of H2O. Now let's add these together. We're going to add this together so that we get the solution, the total number of moles, which is in our denominator of identifying the mole fraction. So, N sub A plus N sub B, in fact, equals, let's put our totals in there, N sub A was calculated at 4.28 moles, again, this was the H2O, plus 0.57 moles, again, that was the sodium hydroxide, 
and we get a total number of moles per solution, which would be, I will put total moles of the solution, SOL, abbreviated for solution, and we get uh, approximately 4.85 moles. And again, this is of our solution. We are now at point to identify what the mole fraction X sub B is in terms of this problem. We'll do both. Okay, let's, let's do the X sub B, which it asked for. X sub B, again, I'm going to identify it here on the side. This is the sodium hydroxide, and in fact, that is my solvent, okay? Remember, it is, by expression, the conventional way of expression is N sub B divided by N sub A plus N sub B. Note that our N sub B, now the solute, came to 0.57 moles of NaOH, and the solution, in terms of the Na plus the NB, we calculated that at approximate, here it is, uh, 4.85 moles total in the solution. Let's plug this into our calculator, and when we plug it into our calculator, X sub B, in fact, equals, X sub B equals approximately 0.117 moles. And this is of the NaOH, a mole fraction. This is the mole fraction, excuse me, mole fraction, not the mole, the mole fraction. Approximately 0.117, okay? Well now let's go ahead and move forward and let's do the uh, X sub A, X subscript A, note that this is the solvent, and our solvent in this solution, in fact, was H2O. Okay, this is our solvent, and that equals, again, N sub A, N sub A, divided by the total of the solution of the moles, which would be Na plus NB. Okay, let's plug our data in there. Now, N sub A, in terms of the water, was calculated at approximately 4.28 moles of H2O. That's our N sub A. Okay? Note that our total here, we did that, and that came to a total of about 4.85 moles, and this, up again, this is up the solution, uh, SOL abbreviated for solution. Let's plug this into our calculator, and let's calculate what our uh, X sub A would be, and when we do that, we should get approximately, approximately 8.883 mole fraction for the solvent, and in this case, the solvent, of course, was H2O. And so hence, we've identified not only the mole fraction for the solvent, which was the sodium hydroxide, but we also did the mole fraction for the solvent, which was water. Now, let, let me take it back one. Let's, here's an easier way, if you will, computational, computationally speaking. We had solved for the uh, X sub B, which is the mole fraction of the solvent. And that particular mole fraction was, in fact, 0.117 mole fraction, again, of the NaOH. But well, remember, that fraction is to the whole, and that whole is equal to 1. So we, in fact, to solve for x sub a, we can take the whole, which is 1.0, less x sub b, and hence arrive at x sub a. So let's go ahead and plug our data in. We have 1.0 minus... 0.117, and hence our X sub A comes to 0.88 and 3 mole fraction of our H2O. This avoids having to do the same mole fraction calculation with this particular expression of uh, Na, Na plus NB. The quicker way is Take the one mole fraction, let's assume that we have two, two different uh, parts of that solution, i.e. one solute and also um, the solvent. Once we solve for one of those, subtract that from one and get the other mole fraction, whether it be the solute or the solvent. And bam, we are done. That's mole fraction for you. Works and problems, easy concept. Thank you very much. Please join me again. I'm going to be talking about colligative properties. Okay, thank you.